vector form of the universal law of gravity. So this part a little bit confusing, it's not very difficult, but you need to understand this particular point. So here, as you can see from the diagram, there are two objects, number one and number two. Number one object, um, we can see that this is blue, this is red. Now the blue object can experience a force due to the red object. Obviously, let's say for example, the sun and the earth, the sun is also experiencing a force due to the earth and earth is also experiencing a force due to the sun. So, there are two forces, they are acting opposite to each other, right? So, we need to address these two forces differently. For example, here I, I have drawn F12, that means force exerted on body 1 due to body 2 right so you can see the direction of the force and it is very clear that this f12 indicates the force due to uh, uh, 2 in 1 right and similarly f21 will indicate the force exerted on the body 2 due to body 1 and they are acting opposite to each other right so if i want to find the value of the f12 then i need to write it down in this way that g m1 m2 by r square this value will be similar for the both of the cases but here i have written that r cap 2 1 r cap 2 1 minus r cap 2 1 minus y because as you can see that if 1 2 is in the uh, you know from east to west right so uh, definitely uh, r 2 1 if i talk about the r 2 1 this this is the direction of r 1 2 r cap 1 2 you can see that right so and from west to east if i coming then this if the uh, you know direction i write that f21 definitely this should be west to east right following this force and the unit vector if we take r21 in the direction of r21 definitely if i want to write in terms of the unit vector of r21 that should be minus because r12 and r21 they are basically, basically opposite to each other similarly uh, uh, this is uh, if i write in terms of r12 then this will be uh, there will be a positive sign right uh, you, you can get the idea i think so if a uh, one two and if two one they are basically opposite to each other and this opposition offered by the two unit vector one is working along from one to two or from east to west and another unit vector which is basically working from west to east and these two formula are equal but you need to understand that there are two forces which are acting opposite to each other okay so uh, continuing to the next course